Pigeons, welcome back. Now let's get into part two. Uh, let's pick up where we left off with uh, LightPay coin. So this was probably one of the ones that my son and I thought was going to have the one of the, the brightest futures, which was this article right here in July of 2018. I mean, once you talk to the devs and we wrote the article, they paid us. Should we, I think we made like $250 for that particular article. Anyhow, then after that, this was this is like Pay's website. I'm still surprised it's out here. That's the logo, everything, because that's the same logo like I have inside the article. But the thing with LightPay coin was that it was already on one of the college campuses in Florida. You can see the article here. You can go look it up yourself. Like I said, here, Brian and the team of international developers recently created a currency called LightPay coin. And, and, it, and it addressed two concerns because it's always about the utility of what the, the use case of the coin. And if it had two, it was two concerns people have with Bitcoin and its close relative, the speed of verifying transactions and maintaining the anonymity of the people making those transactions. And then two months after launch, LightPay coin was being used internationally and had a market value of $8 million. And this was on the, the college campus of U University of Central Florida. I think that's I think that's the, what it is. Uh, yeah, UFC, UCF. And it was crazy, but it came, it did what it's supposed to do, and then it died. And uh, it, it just was one of those things. But as you can see here with the articles that I started writing, I wrote from April of 2018 all the way through... Where we at? Either light pay coin was in July of 18. Whew, jeez. It's October of 2018. So all the way up to here, October 2018. So, uh, so it was almost the whole year that we were writing articles for Medium and getting paid by those particular coins. And it wasn't that we were shilling. I guess it wasn't the word shilling at the time. What we would do is read the white paper, talk to developers, talk to some of the folks in the Discord, write the article, and post it on Medium. And then they would just refer to it. And, it, and what it is, let's, as a matter of fact, let me pull up the so you can see a little example of what it looked like. So what it is, we just broke down, like pay coin, the coin is here. Part one of the articles, it, it gave a synopsis of what the coin can do, a little bit of of, you know, some of the transaction, how it went through. You can see the team. This is Damon. He was the one of the co-founders. And see, and even, like I say, they were KYC. We knew what they looked like. Like I said, they were here in the, physically in the United States, not one of the coins from overseas. Then their, little, their milestones here. And that's pretty much what we did. Then, of course, we gave the contact information. That was from the community in Discord. And the different sponsors that they had, Coin Market Cap, and then the different stages of their roadmap, 2018, 19. Then all their contact information, which exchanges they were listed on, and this is what we did back then, anyhow. And then he died. <laughs> all right, so continuing with the history, and um, another one we did was okay, that's Light Pay Coin, uh, Rick and Morty Coin. Like I said, this is one of the biggest losses we took too. That was twenty five hundred dollars gone. But that was one of the master nodes we were running. You because right now, like if you wanted to run the master nodes, you could go out to master nodes online. See, like I said, you guys, we've been doing this for a long time. You can go to master nodes online, and you can find a particular coin that you want to run. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to use Dash because Dash spins around a long time. So to get a Dash node, you can make ten dollars a day. $74 a week, $318 a month in income. But to run it, to get a Dash master node, you need to have a thousand Dash coins. So it, each coin is worth $613. So it's going to cost you $61,000 to get a Dash master node. And then once you get it set up, then, then you're good to go. So these, this is how the master nodes are ran back then. Like I said, there was no such thing as ring nodes and uh, Thor nodes. They're doing what we did back then. We would physically reserve the, the um, 
server space, pay monthly for that, have the coins there sitting in our wallet, and we would verify and secure all the transactions and support the blockchain of that particular coin. That's what we did. So that's what we did until the middle of, she's 18, give or take. And then, of course, we went through the uh, up and down cycles with Bitcoin. But what we did when we bought them back in 17, we just held them, held them all the way through. Like we got Binance coin. It was under a dollar. I think we got them in like 70, 80 cents back then. Um, XRP. I got we got them in the beginning. Crypto.com was probably one of the first big ones we got because and that was the first um debit card that came along with it as well. And I signed up for them and got the card. So that's that's why I'm in really impartial to crypto.com. Binance has been around a long time too. They're probably two of my favorites. And uh that's really all about the history because then after the big after we finished writing articles. It just and the coins went into their bear market, I guess you could call it, and it was just down. And we just, you know, we didn't forget about them, as you can see here inside of my, um, where's my crypto.com wallet? She, this is December of what, two, 2017. I bought some Litecoin. Oh God, it logged me out. Anyhow, so we, what we did, we just held all of our coins. I wish I could do that for Binance, but it was on the original Binance. Um, dot com that I had bought the buy the BNB coins, and that's what we did. So we just huddled or gardened or hodled, if you want to say, from the middle, the end of eighteen, all of nineteen until twenty. Then at the end of twenty, we started getting back into it. There was some, you know, rumbling out there. Bitcoin doing this, this going on. We, and we, of course, we all the time we was watching Binance. We were seeing what's going on with these coins and all that kind of stuff. And then we started, then the, to the beginning of 21, then that's when, you know, Bitcoin was up there again. We started looking at our wallets and started getting all our wallets together because we had wallets all over the place. Because if you wanted a particular coin, you had to go out and get a particular wallet. They, they were not all listed on Coinbase. They were all not listed on Coinbase Pro. They were not all on Crypto.com. They were definitely not listed on Binance. So if you wanted a particular coin, you may have to go out to... Um, KuCoin and get it. If not, you had to go out to, there was no Voyager back then. I'm trying to think some of the old coins, but that's what we had to do. I'm running out. Of, I'm trying to keep under seven minutes and until Drip came along in April of 2021. I had already been following Ray and we had gotten into some, ah, it wasn't, it was an ape swap. It was some kind of ape um protocol we got into there was panther and cougar and jaguar protocols um dragon ball z there was all kind of protocols then he had mentioned um ray from the bar town conglomerate had mentioned drip and that was it i was in i said okay let me do it and do it i'm at least going to do one b and b and at that time b and b back in april of let me see here if i could just pull it up real quick not buying this um bnb so if you go to april of 2021 yeah exactly april yeah you can see the price almost 500 dollars a, a token it got high, almost as high as six hundred and sixty dollars. So BNB is is one of those long term um, holds. Anyhow, so I decided to put one full BNB in there. It got me like sixty tokens, and y'all can look at the video because I show it in the inside of the um, BSC scan. Matter of fact, I'll do that. I'll do a part three just so you can see when I came into Drip, and then. I got 60 tokens at first, then the price went up and it came back down to $3. And at that point, I put an additional $300. So it was a total of 18, of, excuse me, of $800. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do a part three so you can see exactly where I came into drip. Stand by.